All right, what's up everybody? This is Vectone. Uh, it's been a while since I've uploaded a new video. It's been about four months and uh, I've just been pretty busy lately, but I've got some new content for you guys. Today's a very interesting video, not something you're gonna see every day. And you're not gonna see a lot of producers do this. As far as I know, I don't see a lot of people doing this, but it's just something interesting that you can figure out for yourself and you can mess with it. Uh, when you start to accumulate a lot of different audio devices, audio interfaces, mixers and whatnot, uh, there's just a lot of different things you can do with all of it. So I'm going to be showing y'all something pretty interesting today. We're going to be using a regular old mixer. Uh, the one I'm using is actually a USB mixer, but it's powered through um, just like a normal DC cable uh, that plugs into the wall outlet. So uh, using this mixer, I'm actually going to route it into my audio interface. And if you've seen my other tutorial, you'll actually know that uh, I talked about how to do uh, linear PCM recorders with audio interfaces and this is going to work in much of a similar way uh, We're basically just going to route our mic output from the mixer uh, into the input of our audio interface uh, So for the gear, I'll actually give specifics as to what gear I'm using um, And that'll be included in the description and whatnot and I'm about to go through everything right now. So uh, here we go Let's get started. So as you can see right away. Uh, I've got my mixer on the left here uh, it's the Samson MixPad MXP124FX. It's a USB powered mixer, so that means you can actually plug it into your computer via USB. Uh, just like any old MIDI device, kind of like the launch pad and the launch control and a MIDI keyboard, it's the same cable. But I'm actually not using that. I'm just using the mixer to monitor audio. And you don't need to plug it into your computer either. You can just turn it on and start. Um, you know, plug it into the outlet and get it powered and you can actually put your headphones into that mixer and use it without even using a computer. You don't even need a computer. Uh, you can just start monitoring your sound and you can start uh, listening to your microphones. Of course, you can't record anything without the use of a uh, computer or like a digital audio workstation or something as simple as Audacity. I use FL Studio, but you could use Audacity with the mixer alone just to get audio if you're into podcasting. But you don't need a computer to use the mixer. But it has the capability to be plugged into the computer if you want. So what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm not having it plugged into the computer right now. It's simply plugged into the wall. And if you can see close up into the mixer, I'm going to try and get the camera as close as I can here. Uh, we can actually see here that there are a few things plugged in already to the mixer. Uh, the first thing we're going to have is one mic output. There, there's four total mic inputs, but I have one mic plugged into the uh, mixer right now. It's just my normal old, uh, AT2035 condenser mic right here, and that's just routed straight into the mixer. So there it is. Um, there's also a headphone input right now. Here it is right here, and you can see the little headphone signal. That's where my headphones are plugged in. Now, I've got multiple headphone inputs for all of this, okay? so. That's what part of this tutorial is going to be about is I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually give yourself more room and more inputs to plug in headphones, to plug in microphones and whatnot uh, if you don't have a big studio. Um, so that's the mix right now. We'll go back into the details of that later. Uh, on the right, we actually have my Scarlett Solo. So that the reason that you know part of this tutorial is is like some people don't have enough money or they don't have enough space to get a giant mixer with 10 microphone inputs and all kinds of line inputs and all that. For me, I started out with the Scarlett Solo. It's got one mic input and one line input. That's it. Uh, that's why it's called the Scarlett Solo. It's made for just you, um, basically, you know, maybe one other person. Um, and that's why it's, it's essential to understand you can actually increase your, you know, you can increase your inputs by just kind of rigging up interfaces together. So the Scarlett Solo right now, let's even get a detailed look at that. I'm gonna bring the GoPro down here a little bit. So you can actually see there's my Scarlett Solo. And on top of it is actually a headphone amplifier. Um, and some of you may have not seen this before, but basically what this does is it actually gives uh, four headphone inputs that you can plug into individually, and they each have their own level control. That's pretty much all it does. So what I use that for is I hook up my own headphones, I hook up my speakers, um, and I, this is how we're gonna be hooking up our audio interface too. So you can see now that, okay, on the Scarlett Solo, there's a big silver knob right there on the right. That's for your monitor 
Uh, that's where you'd want to plug in your normal old headphones. If you were just using the basic setup, you'd plug your headphones in there. What I'm actually doing is I'm using a cable, a TRS cable, to hook up the uh, headphone amplifier to the Scarlett Solo. So that gives me more than one headphone input because I sometimes I have people here, I have multiple people listening to me, and I want everybody to be able to hear what's going on and control their own volume. So I have the TRS cable going from the Scarlett Solo into the input of the uh, uh, headphone amplifier. And you can see here, I'm gonna move the camera over, that it actually says input right there. You can see that there's four headphone slots and then there's one that says input. So basically the sound is going into the audio interface from FL Studio and then it's gonna go out of the interface and into the uh, headphone amplifier. Now from there we can do more stuff and that's where the, where the mixer comes into play. So what the mixer is gonna do is now we're basically going to use the mixer to increase our microphone and headphone inputs total. Because right now we can have one mic, maybe two. If your mic just happened to have a quarter inch cable, if it wasn't XLR, you could actually plug in two mics, but with the Scarlett Solo, you can only plug in one. So if you happen to have a mixer on the side, some of you may have one, some of you may know where to get one, a cheap one, you can actually route that into your Scarlett Solo. Now I'm doing that using the tape in and tape out feature of the mixer. And I'm gonna go into a slideshow after this so you guys can see that uh, more in, in more detail. But you can see here that the mixer has two parts here, and you can see I've got basically four little uh, pieces going into it. They're red and white cables. They're just tape in and tape out. You may be able to see that on the camera, you may not. Uh, it's a little bit blocked by the actual uh, cables themselves. But those are tape ins and tape outs. So using the tape in, we can actually take our output from the Scarlett and go into the mixer. And that's what I'm doing. So, like I said, we've got a series of cable wiring. We've got a TRS cable going from the out from FL Studio, and then it goes out into the headphone amplifier. And then from the headphone amplifier, we take one of those, uh, we take one of the slots here that we have, and this is the one I'm using right here. I'm using this one. And this is my, TR, or my TRS cable. And on the other end, it's like a tape cable, tape in. It's just a red and white cable. That is going into the mixer. So we've got the input right here. Let's see if I can adjust this. We've got our input going from the, the headphone amplifier into the mixer. So if you just think of a long line of sound, where do you want the sound to go? Instead of thinking of it in terms of all the cables and all that, think about where do you want the sound to go in general? How do you want it to route? We want it to route from the computer into the box, the red box, into the black box, out of the black box. So we're basically treating this like a pair of headphones. We're basically treating our mixer like a pair of headphones. And so it goes into the tape in. And now from the tape in, now that we have that, we can actually monitor our sound out of this mixer. Now various mixers are gonna monitor the sound differently. You may have your sound being monitored a certain way than another way. Um, for me, I just monitor it through the phones. There's a little button here that says two mix two plus phones. And that allows me to actually control the volume here with this mix two phones button. So now I can actually put in one more pair of headphones here along with the four that I already have here. Uh, well, basically one is being taken up from the mixer. So I've got three here and now I can actually monitor whatever's going on in FL Studio, I can monitor it from the mixer using this control. And you can actually see the green lights popping up. That means that they're actually monitoring sound right now. Um, so that's, that's the first uh, tape that we have. And that allows you to just monitor sound. You can't record sound, you can just monitor the sound. So if you wanna actually start opening up these headphone inputs right here, uh, the mic inputs, I'm sorry. If you wanna start opening those up to actually go into FL Studio, you can do that by using tape out. So now we're going the opposite way. We want to plug in our mixer just without the computer and we can start monitoring our sound by talking to the mic and have our headphones plugged in and we can start listening to ourselves and up to two, uh, four people total. And then we want to take that sound out of the mixer and we want to go into the interface. So it's literally just another routing situation. Now we can do that using the tape out. So we're going out from the mixer 
into the audio interface and this is another TRS cable it's a mono TRS cable and uh, if you don't know you can actually check how your cable works by the number of black rings around the silver area this one has one um, some some systems you can actually it's almost like a left and a right that's why this one's not plugged in so if I had like a left and a right I would plug both of these in to the Scarlet but but it still works without it in its mono um, and now you can actually see that the uh, the green light is actually popping up on the mixer that means it's actually picking up input but it's not picking up from what I'm using to record because what I'm using right now is the uh, this right here which is my linear PCM recorder it's picking up input from the other mic I have right now which is also on and monitoring but not recording that's the uh, uh, AT 2035 the condenser mic so that's what that's for uh, another thing to note is that you have your mix right here and you can change all four levels and the effects of all four of your channels for the mics but once it goes into the scarlet it only goes into one audio input so if I were to turn on this input all four of my mics would be on the same channel in FL studio they wouldn't actually be on separate channels so I couldn't apply you know separate effects to them Whatever I applied would be basically on this on all four of the mics. And this mixer also has a line input too on each one. So you could actually plug in something besides the mic. You could plug in a guitar. But like I said, all the mixing has to be done on the mixer here. It can't be done uh, in FL Studio if you want to do individual, uh, I guess, adjustments to each instrument or mic or whatever it may be. You actually have to, you know, physically adjust the levels here and get how you want things to sound here and then you can route it into the scarlet and then you can adjust things all within FL Studio from there. Um, so obviously that is kind of a maybe a disadvantage for some people. Some people may think that that's a bad thing um, or you know obviously yeah if you don't have a lot of money and if your studio's lacking then you know this is the only way you can do it and you can make it work like this. See I've used relatively low amount of money and I've given myself four headphone in inputs and up to five mic inputs basically all with um, just simple basic audio tools and cable routing um, another thing I could do is I can further if I wanted to do even more and go even more crazy with it I could even plug in my uh, Tascam linear PCM recorder which you saw in an earlier video and I could actually use that and plug that into my mixer and that would give me one more headphone input uh, and one more mic input total, which would just be even crazier. But you know, you don't you don't need to do that. Uh, and it, but it is fun to mess with all that and see what how you can rig it and see how you can actually you know put things together and make things work. You'd be surprised how versatile um, audio equipment can be. So you know, I encourage everybody to experiment with it. And um, yeah, that that's basically the. The rundown of this setup. Uh, if you guys want to see more of how I set up my equipment in the studio, in my personal home studio, uh, just let me know what you guys want to know, or what y'all are interested in seeing, and I'll do the best I can to provide that information for you. Um, in the next part of this video, I'm going to give just a basic slideshow idea of what I've just talked about, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so now we're going to go ahead and look at the actual models that I've created for the setup. Uh, I've done this in Microsoft PowerPoint just like I did for the PCM recorder. And uh, it's pretty straightforward, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, here it is, and we're going to just start with this picture right here. This is just the mixer itself, and you can see that we've got a tape in and tape out. I've labeled it as the area of interest, because that's where we're going to actually route the sound from the Scarlet into the mixer and from the mixer into the scarlet. It's like a two-way routing area. Um, so yeah, tape in and tape out, and then your headphone is gonna be right here. This is where you're gonna plug in your headphone input, um, along with whatever uh, other headphones you may have in your you know, scarlet, or if you ha happen to have the uh, headphone amplifier like I do, then you can plug in more headphones. So looking at the next picture, uh, it looks like a lot to begin with, but it's basically just everything I've been talking about. If you've been following along in the video, then you'll know everything that's going on here. Uh, let's just look at the left here. We've got the four microphone areas here, and they're going to all go into the mixer, into each of one of the mixer's microphone inputs. 
and those are all going to be controlled by these four channels here. You've got uh, four lines of knobs and faders. Those all control the effects of these mics. Um, so basically when people start talking into these mics, we're going to route the sound using the tape out. So the tape out is this one right here on the right, and you can follow this blue cable. This is going to be the cable that you're going to use. It's going to go all the way into the second channel of the Scarlet Solo. Now this cable right here is going to be RCA to TS. And you can see that it's only got one ringer on the side, and obviously there's only one of these that you can plug into here. Um, and it's going to give you a mono signal, uh, but that's fine. Like I said, uh, you may know, maybe some people may argue, well, you know, this isn't going to technically work because, or it's not going to give you the best sound because this isn't the right cable or something like that. You know, either of these cables here work. This one right here is going to be the, basically the same thing as this one up here. This is a RCA to TRS cable. Um, it's just one right here. This is just like your standard quarter inch cable. This is more common than uh, this one down here. So, um, yeah, this is going to go into the Scarlet. So then now this channel, channel two, is going to take in all the inputs from these mics and is going to monitor that. Um, also, looking at the mixer on the other one, we have our tape in. So now we're going to start over here. And we're going to go into the tape in. We're going to start over with our Scarlet. You can see here, first of all, we've got our Scarlet Solo, which is going straight into the computer through USB. And then for our monitor, our direct monitor, we're just going to use a quarter inch cable on both sides, a TRS cable to go from, from the monitor into our headphone amplifier, and into the input. You can see this blue cable right here goes from direct monitor to the input. So we're taking the sound out of the Scarlet and going in to the mixer right here, the headphone amplifier rather. Uh, and now we can see we can actually plug in headphones in all three of these slots here and control them with the levels. And we could also plug in four headphones if we wanted and we didn't want to use this mixer. We could have four headphones total. Uh, but for our purposes, instead we're going to actually use one of these cables as I said here. It's going to be TRS to RCA or you can use one of these, the TS to RCA. Um, but she would only plug in one of those. And that goes into the uh, one of the headphone slots. And from there, it's going to go all the way back over the mixer into the input. Uh, so we're taking the output of all this and going into the mixer. Uh, and that allows us to actually monitor the sound through these headphones right here. Uh, we can basically just monitor the sound. We can use the, uh, the two mix two, that's what I said earlier, to actually increase or decrease our volume and uh, that's the full setup right there that's basically everything you guys can just go ahead and look at this and I'll provide a link for it if you guys wanted to see this more um, online or if you guys wanted to see the PDF of this I can do that so uh, this is it let me know if you guys have any other questions and thanks for watching